Welcome to Gateway at 18th Street, home to a number of our healthcare degree and certificate programs. Let's pop in and take a peek at the faculty and staff offices to our right. Here is where students meet with faculty and seek enrollment support and assistance. Next, let's head to the second floor to where the learning begins. Once on the second floor, you may go left or right. Let's go right to start the tour of the nursing classrooms and lab spaces. Immediately, you will come to the Practical Nursing Classroom Lab. Here is where students interested in becoming a licensed practical nurse will spend much of their time. In the center of the room is seating with movable tables allowing for enhanced functionality and learning communities. The skills lab area augments the nursing student's learning by allowing for hands-on application of nursing concepts and skills. The lab space accommodates various learning areas and stations that can be set up to meet specific learning needs. Now onto the simulation space. There are five simulation rooms, each specific to a population. OB delivery room, pediatrics, nursery, medical surgical, and critical care, along with two designated debriefing rooms. Here, it's okay for students to make mistakes, to reflect on their practice and learn valuable knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will help them to provide quality, safe care to patients of all ages. Let's move across the hallway to the Safe Patient Handling Lab, or the SAFE Lab, where students learn to use technology to safely move patients, avoiding injury to the patient and to themselves. This equipment also helps patients get up and move earlier and more often, which helps speed recovery. Ranging from low-tech inexpensive to high-tech state-of-the-art, the equipment here mimics the equipment used in hospitals and care centers in Arizona. In the corner, we have a residential area where home health and family caregivers will be able to learn ways to help loved ones at home. This lab is also available for use by industry for training purposes. Next, we will head to the Nurse Assisting and Medication Assistant Classroom and Lab. In this room, Nursing Assistant and Medication Assistant students learn the theory and skills necessary to become certified. On the left side of the classroom, there are tables and chairs that can be moved around to create an interactive learning environment. On the right side of the classroom, there are six hospital beds that simulate healthcare facilities patient rooms. A number of our beds have ANI simulators that can be used to simulate vital signs and offer safe, hands-on, realistic practice. Let's move down the hallway to view some of our Clock Hour Healthcare programs. The ECG EKG Tech Lab and Classroom is where students will learn about the anatomy and physiology of the cardiovascular system, as well as the heart's electrical conduction system so they can interpret ECGs. The lab has equipment that is seen in most hospitals and cardiology practices, including stress testing devices such as ergometers and a treadmill, equipped with the protocols that students will need to know as stress test technicians. In addition, there are three patient bays fully equipped with telemetry, monitors and carts to read vital signs, and bedside 12 lead ECG machines. Moving around the corner, we enter the Pharmacy Technician Classroom and Lab. Initially, students learn a variety of entry-level pharmacy operational skills, such as medications, pharmacy calculations and dosages, regulatory standards, and customer service. Then they move on to gaining hands-on experience in the lab spaces, such as the Retail Pharmacy Lab with a drive through window as well as counter service and a waiting area surrounded by over-the-counter medications. The lab is equipped with state-of-the-art technology to perform patient management, receiving and filling prescriptions, completing patient profiles, procurement, inventory, as well as insurance and third-party billing. In the non-sterile compounding lab, 
students learn how to use various equipment to provide alternate routes of medication administration, such as lollipops, gummy bears, ointments, and gels. And in a sterile compounding lab, students use an aseptic technique and perform reconstitutions and IV preparations using the flow vent hoods. And to finish up with the tour of the second floor, we have a classroom that is shared between medical billing and coding and Spanish medical interpreter students. Both of these programs are also offered at the Southwest Skill Center. Now we'll head up to the third floor. On the third floor is the new home to our Healthcare United at Gateway Clinic, known as the Hug Clinic. The Hug Clinic is a pro bono clinic where students, with instructor supervision, provide select healthcare services to the community. The Hug Clinic practices under one healthcare license, but is separated into two suites. The first suite is where the respiratory therapist and physical therapy assistant programs practice. The space provides for ample room to conduct physical therapy and pulmonary retraining sessions while allowing the physical therapist assistant and respiratory care students to gain hands-on, real-life experiences. Across the way, in Suite 302, is where the diagnostic medical ultrasound practices. The space allows for ultrasounds for expectant mothers, athletic injuries, and more. In addition, there are exciting new opportunities for growth in Suite 302 for our Occupational Therapy Assistant Program with hopes to integrate services performed by students in the future. The OTA spaces provide real-life scenarios so that individuals with injuries or other impairments learn or relearn how to use everyday spaces and items. The kitchen provides for a wheelchair accessible space as well as a non-modified kitchen environment. In this space, OTA students learn to empower individuals by using a realistic kitchen environment to help navigate through challenges they may encounter at home when performing kitchen tasks. This space allows for OTA students to learn as well as practice teaching patients functional mobility in a bathroom shower, transfer techniques, adaptive equipment use, as well as safe patient handling. In the future, there will be an additional OTA treatment room for fine motor tasks, a PEDS OTA lab, and an OTA gym. That's it. We hope you enjoyed the tour and learned more about Gateway at 18th Street. Thank you for joining us for the tour.